Hi guys, and welcome to DIY Hair School. My name is Jillian, I'm a professional hairstylist, and I'm here to teach you how to do your own hair at home. On today's video, we are gonna be talking all about hair extensions. Specifically, on today's video, we are going to be comparing two types of halo hair extensions. My preference for hair extensions is the halo style extension. I find them easier to put in than clip-ins, much faster, and I don't love having permanent hair extensions installed because I just don't like the maintenance of having them in every day. So we have today a Halo Couture 18 inch layered extension. This is the number 60 Violet Platinum Blonde. And I had another number 60, this is from Sunny V, which is available on Amazon. It is a 16 inch, the halo is the 18 inch. It is a 16 inch hair extension halo. And um, it was also violet platinum blonde number 60. But as you can see, I dyed it rainbow colors because that's so much fun. So we're gonna be comparing the two today. First off in the comparison, price. Halo Couture is absolutely a premium brand. They are one of the first, or I think they might even have been the first to come out with the Halo style hair extension. And this one here retails for about $610 Canadian. I'm not sure what that is American with the conversion, but it is not cheap. The Sunny V, this one came to about $80. So it is a lot more affordable. The construction of the two of these was surprisingly very similar. I really expected the Amazon extensions to be very poorly constructed, but they're actually extremely similarly ex constructed. The one major difference between the construction of the two is that the Amazon extensions have clips and the Halo does not. I prefer no clips. I know the clips could make it a little bit more secure, but I find they just get stuck in your hair and get in the way. And as long as you have secured the headpiece properly, there is actually like no need for the clips. So if I was to wear these again, I would probably cut the clips out and not use them at all. The next difference between the two is the actual wire itself. So the wire on the Sunny V from Amazon is thicker, as you can see, than the one from Halo Couture. The one on Halo Couture is much finer. Um, the one from Amazon is more of an elastic, which honestly is a little bit more comfortable on your head, but it doesn't stay as secure because it's stretchy, so it moves around more, and it is harder to disguise this because it is thicker. Um, this one does not have much give, so you really have to make sure it's fitted properly, but once it's on, it's super easy to hide, and it doesn't take much fussing around with it at all, so I would definitely prefer this type of wire than this. It also feels like this is probably stronger than this, but that's just my assumption. The next difference between the two is the amount of hair. So the halo comes with way more grams of hair. This is about 80 grams of hair, and this is, I think, 130 grams of hair. Now there is a length difference. This is 16 inches and this is 18 inches. Um, and this is a layered halo. The original halo is, I believe, 100 grams of hair. I feel like 80 grams of hair is the bare minimum. It's honestly, it's fine if you have really, really fine hair, but if your hair is on the thicker side at all, it's probably going to be too thin. You might need two or to add a couple pieces of clip-ins near the front just to fill it in because 80 grams of hair is quite, quite thin for most people if you're trying to add length. If you're just trying to add volume and it's about the same length of your hair or a little tiny bit longer, then you can definitely get away with just 80 grams of hair but 100 grams plus is what's needed for most people's hair for it to blend well if you're gonna add a lot of length, and you definitely get those grams when you pay for that extra hair with the halo. It is just beautiful quality hair. The biggest difference, and the biggest reason there's such a price point difference between the two hair extensions is the quality of the hair. As a professional hairstylist, I can tell you this is absolutely better quality hair than this. That being said, they are both human, hair and obviously you can definitely dye this. This is just a direct dye. I would never apply any bleach. I did tone these a little bit with a little bit of purple shampoo and water. They took it very, very well. Both are gonna stand up to heat and washing and light coloring, but you can just tell from this that it has been a lot more heavily synthetically chemically treated, which is why it's a lot more shiny than the Halo Couture. It's got a lot more 
like silicone and whatnot built up on it, I'm sure, because the hair has been stripped down so, so much compared to this, is definitely a more raw form of human hair that has not been chemically processed to the length of this one. But honestly, if you do not have the budget for a Halo Couture, this is definitely an awesome option. Now I will try them on for you so you can see the difference. A Halo extension is super easy to put on. Simply section out your hair like so, leaving about one to two inches at the front. So you just section out a nice little circle around the top of your head. Doesn't have to be too neat, honestly, it's not a big deal. And then just clip it up out of the way. I do usually put either texture spray, dry shampoo, or dry texture powder in my root area. That just stops your hair from separating too much so that when your hair is moving around, it's much less likely for your extensions to show. They do blend really well. They're both made quite well and they're not super easy to see the track. But if you do have really fine hair like mine, it doesn't take a lot for your hair to separate. So I always put one of those dry products in because it does add some grit to the hair so that it doesn't separate so easily. All right, so we've got the hair pinned up. I'm gonna put the halo on first. I have already sized it to my head. When you get it, you do have to either change the size of the wire. There is a video on their YouTube on how to do that. There is also these little things here where you can just add it and make it smaller or bigger. I have a really big head, so mine's on the absolute biggest size that it goes. And you just pop it over top of the section that you created. It should sit about one to two inches from the hairline and just past your occipital bone in the back, which is the occipital bone is where your head starts to go around. So it should sit just on or just below the occipital bone. You don't want it hanging really far down to the nape of your neck or sitting high up on the crown. You want it to have a nice dip just like that. If you do purchase a Halo Couture from a distributor, they will fit it for you. So you don't have to worry about it too, too much. If you buy the one on Amazon, you're gonna be a little bit more on your own with that. So then you just let down your hair Take a hairbrush and just brush your hair over the wire to incorporate it. If I'm going to go out and wear them, I will usually take my curling wand and just curl a few pieces, incorporating the ends of my hair into the pieces of the hair extension, just so that it all looks like one, but honestly, these are so beautiful. It really blends fairly easily without much fuss at all. And they send you a nice comb. If you buy the ones on Amazon, you can just use any tail comb. And the tail comb is just really good at getting out all the hair from under that wire so that everything blends super, super well. So we've got that and then I just take it and just go around the wire at the back, just pulling any hair that might be stuck. And you'll feel it pull out. And once I have pulled out all that hair, I go over it with the brush again. I don't want to brush my hair with the, the comb because if you have fine hair, you know that a comb is just asking for it to get stuck in your hair. And you can see they are just beautiful. It's so much hair, but not too much hair that it looks weird. The color matches so well. Um, they look real. They don't look synthetic or fake or anything like that. And yeah, I just love them. They're great. Lift it up again and I've put on the ha other halo. It goes on the same way. This one doesn't come up quite as far as the Halo Couture halo. This one, it's a little bit farther back, um, which is why if you have thicker hair, it can be a little harder to blend with your hair because more of your hair is going to sit separately from the hair extension. Um, you can use that tail comb again to just pull out any hair that is stuck under the wire. Like so, it is a little trickier, like I said, with this front wire because it is a bigger wire. Um, so you can, sometimes you have to fool around with it a lot to get that wire to completely disappear. Until there's still some 
some hair stuck there. All right, that's better. So these ones obviously aren't as long as the Halo Couture extension. Um, that's because they're a 16 inch. They do come in an 18 inch and I think a 22 inch. They come in longer lengths. Um, but because of the smaller amount of grams of hair, I didn't want to get them too long because I felt that they would start to look stringy. Um, but yeah, these still look pretty good. They're not, not as, obviously not as voluptuous as the Halo Coutures, but for the price difference, they're awesome. And they're fun to dye them a fun color. My six-year-old loves wearing these because I won't dye her hair rainbow, but this way she gets to have some fun with some rainbow hair. And uh, I like wearing them out. I would definitely curl my hair with them to kind of incorporate it more and help it blend more because you don't want your hair sitting out here in front and the extensions sitting back there. So these you definitely need to put a little bit more effort in to blend them because there isn't as much hair to work with, but they're still a pretty good buy. I will link them below um, on Amazon and let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for being here today with me guys on this episode of DIY Hair School. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and leave a comment below and let me know what kind of videos you would like me to do. If you have any questions that you would like me to address, any styles you would like me to to show you how to do anything at all, leave it in the comments below. Um, check me out on TikTok and Instagram where I post all of my quick tips and quick videos, and I will see you guys next time on DIY Hair School.